The following is a presentation of Tomorrow's World. Does it seem to you that in more ways than you can count, the world is turning upside down? If you think so, you're right. In a number of ways, everything is changing. Political upheavals, weather and natural disasters, an entertainment industry out of control. It's as if the world is unraveling before our very eyes. The future seems perhaps more than it ever has to be uncertain and dangerous. However, what we see today should cause us to pause and consider that the conditions around us correspond very well with trends that the Bible has long predicted concerning the end times. And the Bible also tells us about where such trends will take us. Join us today as we take a fast-paced look at seven prophetic trends and allow God's Word to fill in the gaps about what lies in store. Stay tuned. Greetings and welcome to Tomorrow's World. Whether you're one of our regular worldwide viewers or you've just stumbled onto us, we're very glad to have you. In addition to the prophetic information we're going to provide you today, you'll have a chance to request a free resource, The United States and Great Britain in Prophecy, a thoroughly researched and documented booklet explaining how the history and specific futures of these nations can be found in the pages of your own Bible, detailing events likely to occur in our own lifetimes that will affect every living soul on the planet. Be sure to watch for the order information on your screen. It'll be a very busy half hour, so let's get started. Sometimes the world around us can seem to be a spinning maelstrom as our 24-hour news cycle presents an endless stream of information from all facets of society. Whether we're reading the headlines of our newspaper or our RSS feeds, it's easy to become overwhelmed with all the information we have access to today, virtually inundated with news about the economy, politics, global and regional conflicts, entertainment, popular personalities, science, technological advances, all of it available at any time, anywhere through multiple channels, sometimes whether you want it or not. The Bible prophesied times such as these. In Daniel chapter 12 and verse 4, where it says that in the end times before the return of Jesus Christ, many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. Well, has it ever. But never has there been a time where it's more important to understand what is going on. None of us is isolated from the rest of the world today. The news we're watching about events in Iran or China or Somalia have the ability to reach us and our families here where we live and in numerous ways. The fashions, trends, and attitudes of people on the other side of the world fill the eyes and ears of our children and influence their choices and their values, not to mention our own. However, in His Word, God has provided us with prophecy and a means to not only make sense of the events that swirl confusingly around us, but to understand where they're going and where they're taking us. Today on Tomorrow's World, we're going to highlight seven prophetic trends that are described in your Bible, providing insight into today's headlines and perspective on where our world is headed in the years just ahead of us. First, let's consider that the Bible prophesies that we will soon enter a time when there will be a global rejection of God on an unprecedented scale. The Apostle Paul describes that state in detail in 2 Timothy chapter 3, beginning in verse 1. But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, 
boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God blasphemers, unholy, despisers of good, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. So many trends we see discussed in our newspapers relate to this very prophetic trend. Our headlines and entertainment sources tell the tale of not simply a rejection of the beautiful laws of God, which he revealed to his faithful servants and followers, but even a rejection of those principles nature itself teaches mankind, regardless of culture or creed. How many of us were able to escape the news of pop star Miley Cyrus twerking her way to the front page of the New York Times in 2013 when her vulgar and sexualized dance moves seemed to crowd out every other significant news story for days? I don't even want to know what twerking is, and yet it's become part of the common lexicon of our day. Such a sexualized display in public, let alone before literally millions of people, used to be beyond the pale even for prostitutes, and now it's celebrated on our televisions and our major newspapers. But that alone is hardly the only example of a God-rejecting culture. How many news stories have we heard over the last year about the redefinition of marriage in Western culture, broadening not only to include the concept of homosexual marriage, but with legal action brewing to consider the case of polygamy, polyandry, in which one man has multiple wives or one woman has multiple husbands. Frankly, even multiple husbands and multiple wives in one amorphous so-called relationship Never has there been such confusion about the definition and meaning of the concept of family itself. For those who understand the trends indicated by Bible prophecy, such confusion and moral anarchy are expected and come as no surprise at all, frankly. In fact, it's only the beginning. Rejection of God on an unprecedented scale is on the way. Now, this is just the beginning of our list, but before we continue, let me give you an opportunity to request today's free booklet, The United States and Great Britain in Prophecy. Most people don't realize that the United States and the nations of the former British Commonwealth are described in the pages of Bible prophecy. In fact, they are, and the Bible very distinctly explains what the years ahead hold for those nations and for their citizens, and it explains how the terrible trials hurtling towards those countries will impact the entire world. We don't expect you to believe us. See America and Britain and their future described in the Bible for yourselves. You need this information. Request your copy today. To view the Tomorrow's World telecast, or request today's free offer. Visit us online at tomorrowsworld.org. And remember to find us on Facebook and be sure to follow us on Twitter. With this offer, you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine, full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues. Tomorrow's World magazine keeps you up to date with world trends, Bible prophecy, and the very meaning of life itself. Tomorrow's World, call now. Welcome back. We've looked at one prophetic trend that helps us make sense of the world we see around us, a growing rejection of God on unprecedented scales. Next, we'll consider another, uh, one which might accumulate in part as a reaction to the first. Bible prophecy makes clear that the world will experience the growth of a powerful, global, aggressive, false Christianity. In Revelation chapter 13, after discussing the infamous beast of Revelation, the Apostle John writes of his vision of a second beast, 
saying in verse 11, Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth. He had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. He performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do. Looking like a lamb but speaking like a dragon means that this religious leader and the church he represents will look Christian, look like Christ, the Lamb of God, in many seemingly wonderful ways. Yet its doctrines and teachings will be the subtle lies and deceptive twistings of the dragon, Satan the devil. 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 9 speaks of this false prophet performing signs and lying wonders. And Revelation 17 pictures this global church wielding the political and military power of a powerful system to impact the entire earth. Now, I've heard many mock the idea of our increasingly secular world ever embracing any religion, let alone any version of Christianity on a worldwide scale. But the headlines we've been seeing since the election of Pope Francis I should cause all such doubters and skeptics to reconsider. Very recently, the Roman Catholic Church was at a point where many were questioning its ability to remain relevant in the world today with scandals and internal strife, shredding its credibility and poisoning its reputation. Yet, as Britain's Sunday Times reported in 2013, Pope Francis has inspired a surge in attendances and confessions in the Roman Catholic Church, reversing decades of decline. In the eight months since he was chosen, Cathedrals in Britain have seen a rise of about 20% in congregations, drawing in both new and lapsed members. Attendances at the Pope's weekly address in Rome have surged to 85,000 last month against 5,000 for his predecessor, Benedict XVI. Actually, one woman quoted by CNN said, I'm an atheist, but the more I hear about Pope Francis the more I like him. Seeing the impact one man has had in such a short time, this prophetic trend seems not so far-fetched, and it is prophetically certain that the growth of a powerful, global, aggressive, false Christianity is going to appear in our world. You just keep watching. Another prophetic trend that we see reflected in today's headlines is the coming of devastating disease epidemics, famine, and droughts. In so many places in biblical prophecy, Jesus Christ and others proclaimed that the years ahead of us would involve sweeping pestilences and food shortages. In fact, pestilence and disease, along with wasting famine and lack of food, make up two of the famous four horsemen of the apocalypse. Our headlines show that we're getting a foretaste of some of these things today. Already, we're hearing about the rise of drug-resistant varieties of pests, such as head lice, and strains of venereal diseases, such as gonorrhea, and simple foodborne bacteria that are beginning to be unstoppable with normal antibiotic treatments. The American Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported in 2013 on what they called nightmare bacteria appearing in our hospitals, not only demonstrating resistance to nearly all antibiotics, but killing half of those with serious infections and even spreading their resistance to other bacteria. And new diseases aside, we're seeing more and more reports of old diseases making a comeback, such as tuberculosis, which many warn could instigate global pandemics. As Dr. William Schaffner of Vanderbilt University Medical Center said in 2013, bacteria don't need passports. As reports of MRSA and SARS variants increasingly populate our newspapers, we recognize the trend and know from Bible prophecy that there is more to come. Prophecy also puts us on alert to the coming of dramatic increases in natural and weather-related disasters. If anyone watching our broadcast today has not noticed that the weather seems to have taken on a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde sort of personality in recent years, then you haven't been paying attention. 
2013 was the driest year in history for parts of the American West, while other parts were inundated with record rains and snow. Australia is reeling with the effects of crushing drought on the heels of devastating floods. The scenes of cattle there suffering with hunger and thirst and family businesses coming to an end are tragic. And yet again, for those paying attention to the prophesied conditions foretold in Scripture, such as Deuteronomy 11, 16 and 17, Leviticus 26, 19 and 20, Isaiah 50, verse 2, these transfit an expected pattern. And where they will ultimately lead is made plain. Before we continue, let me give you another opportunity to request our free information on Bible prophecy this week, the United States and Great Britain Prophecy. This powerful but easy-to-read booklet explains many mysteries of history, such as how the United States and the UK rose to such global prominence and what devastating conditions are rushing upon these nations in the years just ahead of us. And the book explains why many other nations will not be able to escape the incredible hardships rushing towards the British and American peoples, including nations such as Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. The social, cultural, agricultural, and economic shockwave hurtling towards these nations will eventually affect the entire world, including every one of you watching this program today. Many don't want you to know what this booklet explains, and yet you need to know. The information is completely free, no strings attached, no hidden obligations. It only takes a few moments. Call, write, or click and get your copy today. Today's offer is yours absolutely free. No cost, no obligation. Visit us online at tomorrowsworld.org. Find us on Facebook. Watch us on YouTube and follow us on Twitter. Welcome back. Let's continue our look at prophetic trends in the news. Consider that Bible prophecy foretells that in the end times before the return of Jesus Christ, there will be a completely reconfigured Middle East. While the Middle East has long been a setting of strife and international drama, since the so-called Arab Spring of late 2010 and 2011, it's as if a deck of cards has been reshuffled continually in preparation for an entirely new game to begin. One of the dominating influences in Middle Eastern politics, the nation of Egypt, has seen two successive leaders removed from office as instability continues. As we've seen in Syria and elsewhere, this critical region of the world seems on fire and a new Middle East is slowly forming out of the ashes. Now again, those who've been following Bible prophecy are not surprised by this state of affairs. Such changes have been long expected right before the return of Jesus Christ. Consider Psalm 83. This passage of Scripture speaks of a confederation of Arabic nations working in unity to bring about the destruction of Israel. And as the free booklet we're sending out today proves, the destruction of the United States and the United Kingdom and certain other countries as well. Beginning in verse 4, the Bible describes the goal of a large collection of Arabic nations. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be remembered no more. For they have consulted together with one consent. They form a confederacy against you. God's Word clearly identifies a reconfigured Middle East in league temporarily with modern Assyria, consulting together and working in an organized way to destroy Israel, the United States, and the United Kingdom. Elsewhere in the book of Daniel, this Arabic power and its leader are referred to as the king of the south, and the nations are described as being generally south of Israel and Jerusalem. In this program, we have declared for years before the Arab Spring that such changes were prophesied to take place, and those prophecies are coming to life before our own eyes. But the Middle East is not alone. Another prophetic trend that continues to occur before our eyes is the rise of a united Europe to global supremacy. 
more than 60 years ago, when much of Europe was still ash and rubble after the terrible destruction of World War II. It was this ministry behind this program that declared Europe would one day rise again and that its different nations would come together to form a resurrected Holy Roman Empire led by a resurgent Germany and would dominate the world. Now, many have long thought that the United States of Europe was simply impossible. Bible prophecy, however, has pointed the way. In his history-spanning vision of Daniel 2, King Nebuchadnezzar saw an image that looked like a man, but from its head to its feet, it was composed of different materials, gold at the top, silver below, then bronze and iron, down to its feet, which were formed of iron and clay. As the prophet Daniel explained, each portion symbolized a world-ruling kingdom, each succeeding the previous one from Daniel's day through time all the way to the return of Jesus Christ and the establishing of the kingdom of God. The last kingdom at the feet of the statue in the vision would represent an uneasy union symbolized by its mixture of iron and clay. Consider the description given by the prophet Daniel. Whereas you saw the feet and toes, partly of potter's clay and partly of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. As you saw iron mixed with ceramic clay, they will mingle with the seed of men, but they will not adhere to one another, just as iron does not mix with clay. He then says that this is the final kingdom that shall be destroyed by the coming of the kingdom of God. Now, while the union has been uneasy, we have watched over the last six decades as this prophecy has come to life. European Commission Vice President Vivian Redding recently spoke at the University of Cambridge and said, there is a strong case for a true fiscal and ultimately political union. In my personal view, the Eurozone should become the United States of Europe. A few years ago, no one could have imagined member states being prepared to cede this amount of sovereignty. Now, she may say that only a few years ago, no one would have imagined it. Yet more than 60 years ago, we did more than imagine it. We said it absolutely would happen according to God's prophetic word. Now, perhaps the most dramatic prophetic trend that we see in the news yet remains ahead. And we'll discuss that trend in our last segment. But first, let me give you one last opportunity to request our remarkable free booklet, The United States and Great Britain in Prophecy. The detailed explanation of what is ahead for the English-speaking nations of the world, why it lies ahead, and the proof that it is coming is something every viewer of our program today needs to see for themselves. Don't let this time pass and wish that you had requested this free prophetic booklet for yourself. Get your copy today. To view the Tomorrow's World telecast or request today's free offer, visit us online at tomorrowsworld.org. And remember to find us on Facebook and be sure to follow us on Twitter. With this offer, you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine, full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues. Tomorrow's World magazine keeps you up to date with world trends, Bible prophecy, and the very meaning of life itself. Tomorrow's World. Call now. Welcome back. We discussed the prophetic fate of a number of nations in our last segment. But what about the United States and Great Britain? What about the nations that have descended from the old British Commonwealth, such as Canada and Australia? For decades, these nations have been among the most blessed and powerful nations on the planet. Indeed, the United States has been one of the most single powerful nations in human history. And England was at the head of a kingdom that has helped shape the modern world. Recent news has not been the best for these national siblings. 
What does prophecy say about the trends we see in the news concerning these countries? Frankly, prophecy is stark and uncompromising. The Bible foretells the catastrophic destruction of the United States, Great Britain, and the English-speaking nations. Now, please understand, it gives me no great pleasure to say these things. I'm an American myself. I love my country. I don't want to see it suffer, and I don't want to see it fall. But I cannot ignore what God's Word declares, and pretending it says something different will not make it go away. Unless the peoples of the United States, Great Britain, and other English-speaking nations repent of their national sins against the God of heaven, their destruction in the years just ahead of us is assured. We all know the news we've experienced over the last several years concerning America and Britain. Financial debt continues to grow to soul-crushing proportions. Militaries are being slashed due to budget restraints and empty national pockets. All of these things are mere shadows of what the Word of God promises lies ahead. Prophecies spread throughout the Bible speak of the United States, Great Britain, and English-speaking nations experiencing debt, yes, but eventual bankruptcy and even enslavement of their citizens. They speak of military weakness, true, but eventual utter defeat and humiliation. The destruction of our cities, our lands laid waste. God's word speaks of disease and drought, yes, but also pestilence and famine that will ravage the English-speaking peoples, which, along with warfare and violence, kill vast numbers of men, women, and children on a scale never before seen in history. The eternal God of creation says to these nations in prophecy, one-third of you shall die of the pestilence and be consumed with famine in your midst, and one-third shall fall by the sword all around you, and I will scatter another third to all the winds, and I will draw out a sword after them. The trends in the news are merely the clouds on the horizon, indicating the devastating storm to come for America, Great Britain, and others. I don't expect anyone in our worldwide audience to take my word about these claims. That's why today's free booklet is so vital. You need to see these things for yourself in God's own word. You can ignore the things we've said and face the storms that God's word assures us are coming, or you can prove them for yourself and respond not just to prophecy, but to the God of all prophecy. For as we're told in Revelation 19 and verse 10, it is the testimony of Jesus that is the spirit of prophecy. Thank you for joining us today. Please check us out on the internet where we have a vast amount of free resources that are available for you to help in your study of God's Word. And please join us on Facebook and Twitter. And of course, join us right here again where Roderick Meredith, Richard Ames, Rod King, and I will bring you insights from the Word of God that you will not get anywhere else. Until then, you're in our prayers, so please keep us in yours. Take care. To view the Tomorrow's World telecast or request today's free offer, visit us online at tomorrowsworld.org. And remember to find us on Facebook and be sure to follow us on Twitter. The preceding program is produced by the Living Church of God.